Athletic, wickedly smart, and just about to start high school. But Tyler Bushek lost his life on the last weekend of summer. Tonight, his classmates in Port Washington are saying goodbye, but it is tough. All right, Henry Rossoff here with this. Henry. And Tyler Bushek's memory moved those who knew him and those who didn't know him to tears outside his visitation today. I felt I feel very horrible for the family. The hearse outside Port Washington High School signals the sadness inside. There's a lot of crying, very sad people. I told them sorry and I gave his grandma a hug. Hundreds come here to honor Tyler Bushek Wednesday. Pay our respects to him. Bushek drowned in Lake Michigan during the Labor Day weekend and he would have been a freshman this year. In fact, he'd already started practicing with the freshman football team. Bushek's death sends chills through those who knew him. <laughs> like Emily Mendola White. He had a lot going for him. Like he was in a lot of sports and he was in a lot of upper classes. And I don't know, he was really smart. And even those who didn't know Bushek are impacted by the death of the 15 year old. We've heard a lot of many stories about him. I didn't know him personally either, but. It's nice to pay respects to the people. I just think it's sad that two weeks before he died, I saw him alive. And now he's just like dead. It's hard to take. Bushek's funeral was also held this evening. It was closed to the media. Live in the newsroom, Henry Rossoff. Fox 6 News. I'm sure for a lot of those kids, they've never lost anybody before, so it's just that much tougher for them. That's, it's, it's hard. Absolutely, and that's why it was impacting bo both those who really knew him and both those that just didn't really know how to handle the situation. Absolutely. Henry, thank you so much. Lock your doors, lock your windows. Milwaukee police are...